So, we meet again, lanky freak. Be flared. Ah, oh, God, my eye! What do you do? And again. Suck it. Suck that red hot flare. <laughs> oh, fuck, I forgot the crowbar. God damn it. Well, who cares? I got plenty of furs left over. I got shit more else I can collect as well. Right. Uh, what do I need to do other than this? Let's get the thing out of there as well, don't I? Alright, cool. Anyway, yeah, welcome back to the Let's Play for Lone Survivor. This is going to be the final episode. I know it, I can feel it in my marrow. Right, get the flares ready. Okay, we can do this. We can do this! Six flares. Okay. You got this, Cecil. You got this. Ignite. Oh, I got it back again! I got my eyes! Why would you do that? Because I hate you all. I've got my crowbar. Later, gentlemen. Okay. Back in the alleyway that I went to before, but didn't actually go into in the end. I found out this time I was right. There is indeed a hidey hole. And as long as the fat guys aren't looking directly at you, you can pretty much walk straight up to them. Oh, come on, turn around already, you fat fuck. There we go. Much better. Much better indeed. Bye. Okay, now carefully through the darkness, because I can't see fuck all here. Uh, I do have a battery, I mean I could use my flashlight, but I want to save it for one final go on my, uh, my game joy. Nope, turning up the brightness doesn't help at all. Isn't that just grand? Right, okay. Barricaded from the other side, no way that's going to open. Hidey hole, hidey hole, there we go, hidey hole. There'll have to be one here somewhere. Might you lank off in that direction? Might you get as far as you'll go and then run like a son of a bitch, Cecil? Ah, fuck. It would be another one if you like right here, wouldn't there? Looks like I'm standing in the pitch black. Technically, none of you should be able to see me. Lanky man or fat man. Oh, fuck you. Walk straight into me, you ass bag. Oh, whatever. I got the ground espresso powder. And. Hmm, something poking out of the wreck. It's a car battery. Hmm, what could these be used for? What is this orange one, anyway? Hmm. It's lucky there aren't limited continues. Because apparently Cecil sucks at gaming. Did, who the fuck is Kobayashi? Why do you keep talking about him? I think they'll girly trill about him all the goddamn time. Well, whatever. Okay. Assuming I did everything I was supposed to do, I've gone and collected supplies, uh, new flares, etc, etc, redone the bits I should have done, and basically... Ooh, hello. Kitty! Hello again, you? Found a new spot, have you? No, giddy, 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 giddy. I really should think of a name for you. Hmm. You still look hungry. I'll see if I can find some more food. Wait, I went and traded all my comics for food, by the way. Be careful. No, don't. Bollocks. I didn't mean to scare you, little fella. Maybe I should see if he comes back later. I'll be more careful next time. Yeah. Whichever spot the cat's currently in, he reappears once a day, so. Yeah. Go save my progress again. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up, Cecil. Whinging about having to go to sleep. Okay, careful. Hmm. Nice to see you again, kitty. <clears throat> fuck, my cough's back as well. Careful. Careful. Ah! Yeah. Should've kept... Fuck, you're a lot more sensitive on this version, aren't you? You're going to lie down pose a lot quicker. Okay, I'm close enough. Give him the goddamn cat food, Cecil. Hope this fills you up. Kitty food. No, oh, he's so happy. Can we keep him, Cecil? I goddamn hope we can. 
Now, the last time I played this game, uh, after feeding him here, I went straight on to the final boss. That's the way things worked out. Uh, but I know you can actually get him into your apartment somehow. So I'm hoping to do that this run. Do do do. Third Street back alley. Uh, got my flares at the ready. Okay. Wait for it. Ah, be flared! Losers. Really hate the fact that after you down them once, they instantly go into that super sensitive, super running mode that's really hard to get away from. Might as well get rid of it now. Super flat world. Awesome. It's very dark in here. Can't quite see it. Can't make it out. I hope I'm not walking past important items when I'm doing this. The fuck? The hell? My sending bit exactly, Cecil. Huh. Oh, shut the fuck up, Cecil. You ate a couple of days ago, you'll be fine. But I got a Sleepy Cat comic. Man, these make me laugh. Let's see now. Ha! <laughs> wow, that really was the best issue ever. It ended on a high note. Cool. Is it about reincarnation? I'm not sure. Isn't that type of milk? Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, uh, since I replayed, obviously, I did get the emergency flare drop when I went to the grocery store this time. And, uh... Got sl... The fuck? Hmm. Yeah, I got uh, sliced cheese instead of ground meat this time. Doesn't particularly make any difference, but whatever. Still can't see shit, Kevin. Fuck's this? The LS cabinet. Okay, whatever. Ooh, it's getting very dark again. No, oh, you... Creepy fucker. Hello again. <laughs> Alright then. Say what it is you want to say. It better not be anything weird. I'm warning you now. I'm tired of all this creeping around. I have no information for you. I can tell you this, though. You're getting to the heart of matters. Goodbye! You creepy little fuck. Okay. North Street West, eh? I got some hand gun ammo. What if I can get more flares? Do I even need more flares, really? Oh, am I kidding? You always need more flares. Ah. Da 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 like a goddamn ninja. The crab shack. Crab shack, baby crab shack. And the health tonic, so I can get even more ammo if I really want. And a mirror, so I can get straight back home. Excellent. Oh, I got my eyes. That's kind of weird. Even to this day, that's weird. Oh, shut the fuck up, Cecil. Get some cheese, haven't you? Here, drink some soda. Amazing! <gasps> kitty! No, 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 Cecil. Get the kitty, get the kitty, get the kitty. Okay, uh, let's use... Let's use, like, the food on the fire escape. Will that work? Uh, what the fuck's my food? Cat food, cat food, cat food, cat food, cat food. Cat food! I think I can see the cat outside the door. Let's see if I can tempt him inside. My god, he went through the glass! Ghost cat! Oh, what the hell. Once had a ghost bird, you know, so ghost cat even better. It actually worked! You'll be my cat forever. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but as someone who's owned a lot of cats in his lifetime, they they don't live quite as long as humans do, matey. But he is so cute. That's good enough for me, little buddy. Hmm. You're quite a perky fellow. What name describes that? Hmm. Not sure. It 
that didn't describe perky at all. That's a skin condition, but well, what the hell. That's the perfect name for you. I assume it's a pun on the Japanese uh, word for one. Itch. Say that catch is number one. My name is... Well, I'm just the guy who looks after you. See, even Cecil doesn't know his own name. Even that, or he's just so ashamed of it, he can't even bear telling it to a cat. You don't need to worry about any of that, eh, Itchy? Oh, he's so happy. Shut the fuck up, Cecil. Let's talk to Itchy. Where'd you come from, anyway? Uh, oh, so cool. I got a kitty! Uh, <laughs> seriously, my own cat's going crazy next to me. He's like, the fuck is that noise? Where is it? Ooh, the director's got something special for me. Sweet. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go check it out. And of course, I'm gonna cut out the journey, because that's boring. Goodbye, Itchy. I love you. Okay. Manly thoughts. I found this. Wow, a delicious ham! Wait, this isn't the same one angry ham monster was trying to get, was it? But, yeah, thank you so much anyway. Well, I won't be doing good to go hungry. Gotta keep mine in tip-top shape, you know? Uh, thanks, I don't know what to say. You're welcome. Just doing my part. Listen, I'll be straight with you. Well, you may not see me around these parts again. I'm planning my escape, see? Seriously, going Bugsy Malone on me now? Gonna try and bust on out of the city. Too dangerous to take you with me. Why? What'd I do? What do you mean? Exactly, Cecil. What does he mean? You think it's any safer out there? How far does the city even go? Do you know? I can't be sure of anything, son. Sure as no one can. But I can't stay here no longer. I gotta get out or die trying. I know we said we're in this together, but I gotta go it alone this time, kid. If I get to safety, I'll send word. Don't you worry. I know, you're probably right, I'll just slow you down. It's not betrayed. I'll keep my ear on the radio. Uh, good luck. Thanks, son. I'll need it. See you around, I guess. You can bet on that. So, so betrayed. Wait, right, let's get some more flares at least. Always doing more flares. Da, ba, da, ba, da. I mean, technically I could get even more cat food as well, but I'm pretty much heading towards the end game, so there's no point. I got one cat food tin left to give Itchy before I go, and that's gonna be it. <sighs> get on with things, I guess. Doo -doo -doo. Delicious ham, delicious ham. Oh, I got the steamed ham. It's come out beautifully. Ham, eat it. Ham, it's time you and I had a date. Well, I just wish that had never ended. Wonderful. Usually steamed ham. Ew. Again, I'm not really a big fan of any kind of cooked ham, really. Well, whatever. Itchy. Uh, should I give him the last can of food now, or... Wait till I get to the final boss area. You are a kitty. Tell me about it. Oh, such a good kitty. Just talk to my sleepy cat. You're not quite as good as itchy sleepy cat, but you are cool. I'm gonna have a snooze, I think. Didn't do. Oh, shut the fuck up, Cecil. Quit your whining. Hey, itchy. How's it going, little buddy? You're probably hungry now, aren't you? Here, have this tin of cat food. Alright then, kitty. Ah, oh, it's a kit! Nipper. Ah. Okay. Bye, Itchy. I love you. 
Okay, nectary nuts, not bad. Yeah, whatever. Anything good in the diary? Let's have a look. I saw that freaky guy again. The one with the white face. He scares me half to death. Even though I can't explain why, I need to push on through the city. See where it leads me. What was at the end of the road? That's a rather ominous entry. Especially the way that's phrased. Seriously. No, oh, whatever. Head back to the Crab Shack, is it? Yes, the Crab Shack. Crab Shack, baby, Crab Shack. Hmm, I got a tin of fruit salad. Awesome. Pizza! Pizza Bell, what the fuck? Weird. Uh, get my flare at the ready. Just doesn't seem to be a hiding hole. Whether you guys to be as far off that way as you can so I get all of you at once. Sneaky, sneaky, and... Flare! Oh god, our eyes! Why would you do that? Damn, going into the pizza shack. No, oh, whatever. Something on virus. Something from space recordings. Damn, I miss my tools. Where I could find a stereo of some sort. Can't get into steel records or anything either. That's disappointing. Hidey, 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 oh. Yeah, absolutely no point in this hidey hole being there, but whatever, I guess. So I can go down that way. There might be something over here where this douchebag is. Yeah, I got 15 flowers. I got more than enough to kick the guy's ass and take his stuff. I got a can of soda. Well, that wasn't really worth it at all. But thank you anyway, I guess. Do do do. Strange. It's like this building feels out of place here. Hmm. That's weird. Hand gun ammo. Health tonic. There doesn't seem to be anything behind this window. Hmm. That's weird. Was this done by an explosion? Looks more like a battle took place. Huh, that is weird. Something about it creeps me out. Is this the work of the survivors? A bus? Hmm. Well, school bus. Seems to have crashed. I might as well take a look inside. Can I get through the door? Hmm. I don't think it's going to open unless the electrics are working. Oh, come on, those things are pathetic. You can prise them open with a bit of work. Use your crowbar, actually. I know you can't, the game doesn't let you, but in real life, you quite easily get that open with a crowbar. Right, let's prise open the electrics panel. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Seriously, what did you even do there? You waggled it in its general direction and it fell off. Fine. Snip the wires. Put in the new battery source. There we go. And by an extraordinary stroke of luck, that happened to be the uh, electronic system for the cab and the door. As you know, all turns with me just accidentally turning on the air conditioning by mistake. Which would have been hilarious. But not very progressive, but hilarious. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is the final boss fight. So, I am going to completely pussy out. I'm going to get a bunch of ammo and stuff in case I need it. I shouldn't. I really hope I don't. In case I do. Go get this stuff. And, uh, yeah. Save my progress again, I guess. Do 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 Hank! Cure. So I went for that dialogue tree a bit too fast, though, didn't I, really? Right, uh... Got some tonics for you, matey boy. Two, to be precise. Hank, I found some medicine that might work. You want to try these instead of the pills? Well, it's not going to make me any worse off, so thanks, dude. Could even get me out back on my feet, huh? I appreciate it. Take this clip for your time, man. We'll get through this, man. God, I'm even starting to sound like him now. Okay, let's give you the other health tonic. Drink, a drink, a drink, a drink of the tonic. Okay. Thanks, dude. Who knows? Could even get me back on my feet. Thanks, man. Here's ten rounds. Just my way of saying thanks. Okay. So I got about 31 shots. Whole shit ton of flares. Mm, not really much by the way of health. Well, you know, health restoring items, food and whatnot. So I can't really afford to delay any longer. I mean, I could go 
trek all the way around to the grocery store again, but yeah, fuck that. It's really just not worth the effort. I think I'll just uh, chance it on what I've currently got. As long as I do this right, I shouldn't really get hurt at any point, to be quite frank. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Got a quick snooze to save up again. Morning, Itchy. Pleasure to see you, kiddo. Okay. Uh, ooh, I pet him. Pet him good. You really are so cute. Oh, Itchy. I'll see if I can find you some more food, Itchy. I love you too, Itchy. Okay, uh, but they get on with things now. It's enough time messing around with the cat. Yum, yum. Okay, I got this, you guys. I got this. And technically speaking, I probably could have left that mirror active in the other area and uh, used that as a shortcut back to the hospital. Oh well, whatever. Is this the end of the road? What was I expecting to find? I don't know. I can't move again. Oh fuck. Well that's not good. Static and shit. That never... That's definitely not good. What the fuck was that? Hello? Is anybody out there? Oh fucking hell. It's a necromorph! Save me Isaac! Seriously, where's a plasma cutter when you need one? I mean, is that thing got... Tits? What the fuck? It's a necromorph with tits. What the fuck's that about? Ah, miss me loser. Nice try though. Get the fucking... Get the out there. Ah, surprise! He fled! And you missed me! You loser! He fled! Right, now... Probably shouldn't have used two at once like that, but... Shit, I've got... Literally hundreds of these damn things! He fled! Wait for it, wait for it... He fled again! Ah! Ah, uh, how would you like me now, monster? How do you like me now? And again! Blinded by the light! Ah, where are you going? What's the matter? Too much flair for you? Too much style? Too much elan? Go on! To our party! Yeah! <laughs> I win again! Basically. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Shock. No! Dramatic twists! Who did this to you? Really? Who did this to him? Actually, the giant monster with the ten foot scythes for hands? Tell me, please! How can I stop the bleeding? Hey, kid. Don't worry about me. Seems I'm finished here. The varnished a little too far this time. You're not gonna die on me. I'm pretty sure he is, dude. Well, it have to happen sooner or later, son. What was it they say? Sometimes you eat the bar? I, I forget exactly. It's not fair. Why did it have to be you? You are my friend! Hey, keep your chin up, kid. You'll need it if you're gonna find her. In the hospital. Wait! You know her too? A slut. Who is she? Ah, miss. Her too. Did you just headbutt the guy to death there, Cecil? What the hell? They're gonna pay for this! Cash or charge, motherfucker. Wait. He's holding something. It's a torn piece of paper. There's just a bunch of numbers on it. Some kind of clue? 
I guess whatever it leads to is the end of my journey. That's deep, man. That's deep. Gets me right here, you know? But I'm ready for that. Sad times, folks. Sad times. He's dead, Itchy. He's dead. The director's dead. He was close as a dad to me as... I don't even know how I'm going to feed you anymore, Itchy. I have to go out and end this. Find a way out for both of us. And maybe like him, I won't even come back. Can you forgive me, Itchy? Thanks, Itchy. Of course, like I say, being a cat owner myself, I know that what that meow actually meant was, you have food for Itchy? You have food for Itchy now? But yeah, a little bit of self-delusion never hurt anyone. It's delicious. Well, at least you can still enjoy the, you know, the little things. Hey, Cecil. Goodbye, Itchy. I loved you like a brother. Okay. Hospital. Bottom of the road, turn left. There's a couple of douchebags in the way, but I got plenty of flares. Seriously. I'm not going to need them for anything else, so... Yeah. I got this. You flared, assbags. You flared. Oh, fuck you. Oh, fuck. Come on. What the? You're supposed to be in range of my flare. No, oh, whatever. Oh, God, our eyes. Why does he keep doing that? Because I hate you all. That's why. Because I hate you all. That weird sort of whiny music reminds me of the opening to uh, Majora's Mask. When I mean, you're running through the, uh, the Underforest. This has got to be what I'm looking for. It's the only place that has a keypad in the entirety of the city, so quite probably yes. Just standard hospital information, how to escape, that kind of thing. I assume you mean in case of a fire, not just, you know, advice to the patients. Don't need a fire extinguisher, the fire's already out. Clipboard. I got some kind of clipboard. Wait, wait, why is my name on here? No, I was never a patient here. Was I? Anyway, it looks like it's the room at the end. I should check this area out first. It's locked. Hmm. You're the best, sleepy cat. It's locked. As long as I've got my stuffed plushie here, nothing can hurt me. You know, apart from the monsters and the sharp things and the bombs and the, the fire and the sharp and the ouchies, yes. But apart from that, nothing can help me. Nothing at all. It's locked. It's locked. Hmm. That presumably is the door I go into, then. The only one that's actually open. Might as well drop a fruit drop. Grapefruit. Oh, the great. That's a. Uh, that's a great way to end things, isn't it? You know, wash the taste away with a bit of soda. This must be the room on the register. My room. Hmm. The fuck? Wait. What's going on? It's a glowing pill. I feel tired all of a sudden. That's nice. It's just a bed. Can I get out now? It's locked behind me. Crap. Swallow the pill. It's a green pill. Awesome. First time I did this, it was a blue pill. So presumably this means we've made progress. I feel close to collapsing. It's locked behind me still. Well, I guess I haven't got a choice. Maybe I'll just lie down for a while. Uh, so very tired. Just for a little while. Yeah. Wow. 
Why would you dream about that? About that thing I said. I didn't really mean you had to come and find me. Don't do this, please. Well, you're here now, aren't you? But I want you to promise me something else. I want you to look after yourself. After things are back to normal. You should leave this city. It's all right, you. You're not a death bed, she doesn't know my name! Everything's going to be all right. Stay with me. Don't be scared. I'm not. I'll see you again. One day. I do believe that what's sitting next to it is actually the doll from the beginning of the game. And this... I, I believe, at least anyway, is supposed to be us as an old man. From what I gather, the whole business that goes on is... Something goes down in the city, she gets hurt and or killed during the whole process. When things are eventually resolved... Uh, and Cecil's own treatment is complete, he's let out. And this is him coming back to the city many, many years later as an old man. Sitting on the spot they once sat on, as it is now rejuvenated once again. No longer the wasteland it was left over as. After the inner tragedy in the city. So yeah. Pretty intense game. Whew. Cool, eh? Right. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves during this playthrough of Lone Survivor, a game by Jasper Ryan. And populated a lot by royalty free indie music, thankfully. Dedicated to Johnny Bryan. Don't worry, I'm not just going to sit here and read out all the credits. Let's do Lazone's review of the hour, shall we? What do you think of the game? Well,. Uh, admittedly, I didn't play very many 2D horror games back in the day, uh, as I was, you know, a kid, so... Mostly I was playing Sonic and Mario and stuff, but... So I, got, I don't I admit, mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to, I didn't even play the original 2D Castlevanias, but... This is a damn good game, it's very, very story intensive, obviously. Uh, there is a lot of, uh, Silent Hill inspiration in there. A lot of the weird effects and the transition between dimensions and stuff, uh, even some of the enemy designs are very Silent Hill-esque, but in two dimensions. Which isn't surprising, considering the guy who did this originally made, uh, what was it now? It was Quiet Mountain or something like that? Basically what, what literally was a 2D Silent Hill piss take. That was one of his original projects. So it's not surprising, it's all very heavily influenced by uh, Team Silent's work. This is sort of like the refined version, if you will. Take out all the parody elements, well most of them anyway, add in new mechanics, your own unique story, that sort of business. Uh, but yeah, it was a really damn good game. Quite genuinely terrifying in some places. Uh, the atmosphere was brilliant. Story... well, I suppose once you get to the end of it it all makes sense, but it did sort of suffer from trying to be too complex during the middle segments of the game. 
there were quite generally some moments where even if you were paying real attention, it was kind of a difficulty to uh, piece together what was actually going on. But, you know, in general, I liked it. I could have done with more hints. No, well, yeah, hints, not necessarily explanation as to who people like the white-faced man and what it's supposed to be. I mean, she gets explained at the end of the game. But, like, uh, the guy with the box on his head and the guy who's going on about the ammo and everything, I presume he's supposed to be whoever this Draco dude is, but... I mean, the only thing I could really think of is that they're supposed to represent different parts of his personality. I mean, like the guy with the box on his head and... Uh... Well, yeah. The guy with the box on his head would be his sense of self-preservation. The gun nut Draco would be his aggression. Uh, white-faced man. Maybe his memory? The director, I'm assuming, is like his super ego kind of thing, his moral center. But yeah, even taking that into consideration, it's not very well implemented. Still, it was nice. Overall, yeah, very good game. Very good game indeed. I definitely recommend it to any of you who haven't played it already. Should be around about seven, eight pounds, I think, on Steam at the moment. And it is, of course, available for both Windows and Macintosh systems. So you really got no excuse. Right, cool. And that's that, I guess. Lone Survivor. Thank you all for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next LP. If you want to know what that's going to be, you have to wait for the trailer video, won't you? Nah. Bye, folks. See you around.